cookies today we are going to revise what we have studied in the before section are you ready for the revision now we are going to revise odd and even numbers in odd and even numbers we are going to circle the odd number and box the even number already you know which is the odd and even number identify that and circle the odd number and box the even number first 71 71 is the odd number so we want to circle it next 64 64 is the even number so put your box for 64 we want to put your box for even number and we want to circle the odd number 45 is the odd number so we want to put a circle 82 is a even number so put your circle for 82 next 9 9 is a odd number so put your circle 7 is a odd number 11 is also a odd number 8 is even number so put your box for it next 16 is a even number put your box 27 is a odd number so we want to circle 17 is also odd number 10 is a even number so we are putting a box for it 94 is a even number so put your box 37 odd number 26 is a even number 69 odd number so put your circle 18 is a even number so put your box 81 is a odd number circle it 52 is a even number put your box 25 is a even number so sorry 25 odd number so put your circle like this you do the next five row mats write the five next to five even numbers okay write next to five even numbers 24 and 26 is given add two to number after that okay 26 after 28 if you add a two number means next if you add a two number means 30 next 32 and then 34 and then 36 like this we want to write the next five even numbers okay if you add two two numbers means it will be easy 40 40 plus 2 42 42 plus 2 44 and then 46 and then 48 and then 50 then 52 88 90 and then 92 94 96 98 and then 100 like this you want to write the next five even numbers right next to two numbers okay write the next five odd numbers here we are going to write the next five odd numbers 7 and 9 here also we are going to add two two numbers 7 and 9 9 after 11 next 13 want to add two two numbers after that okay 17 19 next here 21 and 23 is there we are going to add two numbers 25 and then 27 29 31 33 83 and 85 i'm going to write 87 89 91 92 93 94 like this we are going to write next two numbers okay now we are going to revise patterns next sum us find the rule and complete that pattern we want to find the rule in which rule they given that patterns okay 20 plus 1 21 like this we want to write a numbers 20 plus 1 21 21 plus 2 22 22, 22 plus 1 23 23 plus 1 24 24 1 25 25 plus 1 26 26 1 27 first find the rules of the numbers and then do a order okay and then write it in order okay 38 minus 1 37 38 minus 1 37 38 minus 
थर्टी सेवन माइनस वन थर्टी सिक्स थर्टी सिक्स माइनस वन थर्टी फाइव थर्टी फाइव माइनस वन थर्टी फोर थर्टी फोर माइनस वन थर्टी थ्री माइनस वन वी वॉन्ट टू डू इट ओके थर्टी थ्री माइनस वन थर्टी टू थर्टी टू माइनस वन थर्टी वन थर्टी वन माइनस वन थर्टी find the roots and write it in a order okay next 50 minus 1 49 49 minus 2 47 47 minus 1 46 46 minus 2 44 minus 1 and minus 2 minus 1 minus 2 in this order they given we also want to do it in that same order okay 44 minus 1 43 Minus one means next we want to do minus two. Forty three minus two, forty one. Forty one minus one, forty. Forty minus two, thirty eight. Thirty eight minus one, thirty seven. In this order only we want to do minus one minus two minus one minus two. Like this we want to write the next order. Okay. The first three sum I have done for you. Like this, you want to do the next two sum. This is it will be a homework for you. Okay, cuties. Now we are going to revise about repeated addition. Use repeated addition to find the total. Use repeated addition to find the total. There are five groups. There are three chicks in each groups. Totally, there are five groups. In that five groups, three chicks are there. Each group, three chicks are there. How many chicks are there? All together, we are going to find the total number of chicks. There are five groups. There are three chicks in each groups. We are going to find the total number of chicks. Okay, one, two, three. Three chicks are there in each groups. Okay. Totally five groups is there, so we are going to add three five times. Okay, we are going to add three five five times three. We are going to add five times three. Okay, three plus three plus three plus three five times. We are going to add three. Five three. Fifty. You can add the pictures of cheeks also. Okay, the total number of cheeks is fifty. Five times three years, fifty. This is repeated addition. If we add five times three means fifty. Next sum, there are four bunches. There are six bananas in each bunch. How many bananas are there all together? There are four bunch. There are six bananas in each bunch. How many bananas are there all together? So we are going to add six four times. Okay, six four times because six bananas are there in each bunch. So we are going to add four times six. Okay, four times six. You can add each bananas. If you add four times six, means it will come twenty-four. Four times six means it will come twenty-four. Okay, twenty-four. Four times six is twenty-four. There are. Dash trays. How many trays are there? Three trays. Okay, count the picture and write. Three trays. There are dash x in each tray. How many x are there in each tray? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten x are there in each tray. Okay. How many x are there all together? Overall, three trays is there. We are going to find the total number of x. So, ten, ten, three times we want to add ten three times, three times tens. 
is equal to 30. 3 times 10 means the answer will be 30. Shall we see a word problem now? Aditya bought 6 packets of groundnut balls. Each packet had 5 groundnut balls. How many groundnut balls did they buy? We are going to find the total number of balls. It's totally Aditya bought 6 packets. In each packet, 5 groundnut balls are there. Each packet, 5 groundnut balls. So write 5 balls by groundnut balls. We are going to add 6 times 5. Okay. 6 times 5. Like this you want to write 5. 5 plus 5 plus like that. 6 times you want to write the 5. Okay. 5 plus 5. 10. 10 plus 5, 15. 15 plus 5, 20. 20 plus 5, 25. 25 plus 5, 30. The answer will be 30. The total number of groundnut balls bought by Aditya is 30. Next sum, there are 10 boats. Each boat can accommodate 5 children in it. How many children are there in all? We are going to find the total number of children. Okay. 10 boat is there. Each boat can accommodate 5 children. Okay. Total number of boat is 10. 10 boats. Each boat has 5 children. Okay. So write. 5 children. Now we are going to add 10 times 5. We are going to add 10 times 5. For that we want to write 5 10 times. Okay. 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus like that 10 times we want to write 5 okay this is repeated addition because this repeating no 5 10 times you want to write 5 before we add no like that only we are going to add now also 5 plus 5 is equal to 10 10 plus 5 15 15 plus 5 20 like that 10 times you want to add 5 if we add 10 times 5 means the answer will be 50. 10 times 5 is equal to 50. Okay. Like this only you want to do the other word problems also. Okay. Like this you want to do the other word problem. It is homework for you. Now we are going to see the revisions for measurement. Compare the weight of object given below. And order them from lightest to heaviest by giving the number 1, 2 and 3. We are going to compare this object and we are going to order from lightest to heaviest. From lightest to heaviest. Compare three object. Watermelon, banana and amla is given here. We are going to compare this three object and we are going to order from 1, 2 and 3. From lightest to heaviest. Which is the lightest object here? Watermelon, banana and amla is here. The lightest object is amla. Because it is so small now, the weight of the amla is very light. So write 1 here. And the next lightest object is banana. So write 2 near banana. The heaviest object is watermelon. So write 3. Like this only we are going to order the next order. Next vegetables is given here. We are going to order the numbers. Okay. From lightest to heaviest. Which one is lighter? Potato. The potato is the lightest vegetable. So write 1. And the next lightest vegetable is Bangalore brinjal. 2. The last object is yam. It is so heavy. So write 3. Okay. Like this 2. We are going to do the next 2 rows. Okay. It will be a homework for you. Okay. First compare the object and order the numbers. 
Now we are going to revise about repeated subtraction. Vanita had 50 mangoes and she made a packet of 5 mangoes each and sold them. How many packets does she make? We are going to find the total number of packets. She had 50 mangoes. She made the packet of 5 mangoes. Each packet she made 5 mangoes. We are going to find the total number of packets. Okay. For that we want to subtract 50 minus 5. 50 minus 5. Already you know how to do the subtraction. Do minus 50 minus 5. Here 0 is there. Can't subtract. So borrow from the number 5. And here we get 10. Here 4. 10 minus 5 is 5. Right? 5 here. You know how to do the subtraction now. 10 minus 5 is 5. Here 4. 50 minus 5 is 45. Next, you are going to subtract 45 minus 5. Till 0, we want to subtract. Okay, Till we will get answer 0. Up to that, we want to subtract. 45 minus 5 is answer will be 40. Next, 40 minus 5. Like this, we want to subtract up to 0. Okay, 40 minus 5 is here. We want to borrow 10. 10 minus 5 is 5. Here, 3. The answer will be 35. 40 minus 5 is 35. 35 minus 5. Next. 35 minus 5 is 30. The answer will be 30. Next. 30 minus 5. 30 minus 5. You should borrow because 0 is here. Borrow. One number that will be 10. The answer will be 25. 30 minus 5 is 25. 25 minus 5. Repeatedly you want to subtract 5 from 50. Up to answer you will get 0 no. Till that you want to subtract 5 from that answers. 20. 25 minus 5 is 20. Next 20 minus 5 is 20 minus 5. Borrow one number 10. 10 minus 5 is 5. Here 1. The answer is 15. 20 minus 5 is 15. 15 minus 5. 15 minus 5. The answer will be 10. 10. 10 minus 5. The answer will be 5. 10 minus 5 is 5. Next, 5 minus 5. 5 minus 5 is 0. How many times we have subtract? 50. If you count that number of times, you will get the answers. Number of packets. Total number of packets. Count how many times we have subtract? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 times we have subtracted 5. So, the answer is 10. Total number of packet is 10. Total number of packets is 10. At last you want to write the answers like this with the statement. Okay. Total number of packets is 10. Are you ready to do the next sum? There are 30 notebooks in a box. If 6 notebooks are to be given to each student, how many students will get the notebook? There are 30 notebooks in a box. If 6 notebook is given to a student means, how many students will get the notebooks we are going to find out. For that we are going to subtract 30 minus 6. 30 minus 6. Second sum. 30 minus 6. Do the subtraction. 30 minus 6. You know the subtraction. Here 0. For that we are going to borrow from 3. 
here we will change 10 10 minus 6 is 4 it 2 24 next 24 minus 6 because this is a repeated subtraction of for that repeatedly we want to subtract 24 minus 6 here borrow from 1 14 14 minus 6 is 8 here 1 18 answer 18 minus 6 now we are going to subtract 18 minus 6 18 minus 6 is 8 minus 6 is 2 here 1 12 the answer is 12 12 minus 6 12 minus 6 is 6 answer will be 6 next 6 minus 6 is 6 minus 6 is 0 up to 0 we want to subtract 6 how many times we have subtracted 1 2 3 4 5 5 times we have subtracted 6 so the answer will be 5 number of students will get the notebook as 5 because 5 times we have subtracted 6 from 30 5 times we have subtracted 6 so the answer is 5 number of students will get the notebook is 5 the answer is 5 like this only you want to do the repeated subtraction ok kutis like this, you want to do the next three sums. Thank you. Bye.